Hi everyone, welcome again today. <clears throat> Let's take a moment and stretch out our necks, raise our hands above our head, touch your toes. <sighs> and now it's time to go. Thanks for watching us, everyone joining us from around the world. We're uh, one hour west of Toronto in the studio. Behind the camera is Mr. Jeff. What's up everybody? And then over here we have the wonderful Hannah. Hi. Yay. So, here's what we do. Every Wednesday at 1 o'clock Toronto time, we walk around this space. This is our studio space. And we do a bunch of things. And then we hear from you what you'd like us to uh, try. We get your ideas. You help us with troubleshooting. You leave comments. Look at that guy just vaping, eh? What? Hey, Sandy. Hey, Jules. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Let's head to the table of contents. Sandy's uh, happy to see you, Hannah, by the way. Oh yeah, Hannah wasn't here last week. And oh yeah. Hannah's last, last week too. Week. And she's and this is her last day, everybody. So everybody say <laughs> Sayonara. She's going back to school. Boo. Good morning, Donna, Cody, uh, Shafirda, Welcome. Patricia. Welcome. We're about to get started here. We're uh, Miriam. 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 Let's From go. the UK. Let's do that table of contents. At any time, if you have a question, you can put it in. Otherwise, in the comments, uh, we'll go through it. But we're learning together. Welcome, Trisha, for your first time. Oh, cool, Trisha. This is going to be a um, life changing. <laughs> so, so here's what we're doing today. Yep. We had such good success last week with metal spray paint. Let's let's look at that. Let's take a look. We're, we're going to do some large pieces with spray paint in uh, resin. We did these ones. If you remember? Look oh, at that. Holy yeah. crap! Like it just looks amazing. I, I mean, it's a different effect. Hold it there. Yeah, that looks really good, though. That's. Yeah. Just experimenting and seeing what happens, right? So we're going to do that with metallic spray paint, and that was one of your uh, requests, so thank you for that. Not me, the behind the camera, the people, uh, not our Jeff. audience, yes. Jeff, why don't you show them your face? Nope! No. Just give them a glimpse, like show them, cover your face like this, and turn the camera like that. <laughs> Just give them something. Can it, does that work? I don't even know. <laughs> I, don't even know what the, I can't see if I'm not filming. Oh, okay. what's that? What's that? So, two weeks ago we tested essential oils in resin to cure, to see if you could make objects that have a scent. That didn't work. You didn't smell anything. Last week, uh, someone suggested we try fragrance oils. I don't know what the difference is, but we had this cool little silicone mold. Is it actually still in the mold, right? I think it's out of the mold. No, no, no. Oh, oh, it's still there. Oh, yeah. wow. So I don't know what this mold is. Oh, this is the lid for an ice cube tray. Oh, yeah. cool. But, so this is fragrance oil. I don't know what the difference is. And it does have a bit of a smell. No way. Can you turn on the smell button? Yep. Boop. Right, everyone take a big They're ready with that. <sighs> oh, that's like vanilla. Yeah, it was vanilla. So fragrance oils seem to work. We're going to do, now that we know that, we're going to do more fragrance oil tests, okay? And then we can say like, well, why do you need resin to smell? That was someone's question. Mm. And it's a very good question. And the answer is, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So more fragrance oil tests. If you missed the answer to that question, stay tuned. Maybe we could make like, we'll get like a mold of like a lotus flower and uh, we'll fill it with essential oils. Mm. And then it'll be this beautiful little object you put there and it just has a nice smell. Lotus flower mold. Maybe we'll even make one of those. So there'll be fake flowers with real smells. I don't know if we got too many fans of the smelling here. People are like, we don't need it to smell. Why do we need to smell it? It's a good point. That's a really good point. Why do you need it to smell? That could be the answer to the first question. Yeah, just don't do this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cross this out. Boom, there we go. Thanks and... Your feedback. That was stupid. Okay, so we're going to do this large. So Hannah's already got a head start, and she's uh, mixing up tons of resin because we're doing some big pieces today. Why don't we jump over to uh, the back of these circles. So we've been experimenting with different ways to get drips off of objects. See, can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's the rubber, right? Yeah, this is, this is rubber. So this was someone's suggestion. I should put gloves on. Oh, Dave. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. What did you not do to open the video that you always do? Oh, my mom. Yes, mom. I know she's not watching this live. Thanks for watching the kids. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. It's not live, we won't be able to talk, but uh, thank you. Thank you for 
uh, giving me life and <laughs> putting uh, up with my teenage years. La la la. Is that good enough? That's good. Thank you. All right, back to rubber. Okay, so I'm gonna go put some gloves on and try and peel this off. Okay. This way was painting rubber on it, and we're gonna order something else called uh, Monster Latex. Hmm. Uh, it was suggested by someone. I can't find it in Canada. Hmm. But I can find it in the U.S. So I'll get. But it's it's what if you want to turn yourself into a zombie for a film, it's the latex that you paint on, so it's very safe. Oh, that's cool. And so we're gonna try and paint it on the back and just see if it's also a good art material. Oh, cool. Um, so painters tape is kind of the go-to, mm -hmm. but painters tape is only really good usually if you take it off the very next day. If you leave it for a full week, like we did here, it's very difficult to get off. Yeah, it's better like 24 hours, yeah. boom, and then it really rips right off. So that's usually the tried and true method, right? Yeah, it's just take it off. Like, look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sand this. I think it's yeah. gonna be too much work. Um, but the latex, so far, not very good. Not very good. I wonder if that's also is it the certain material that you're on as well versus like yeah, the metal. yeah. Well, we're gonna try this monster latex, see if it's any different. I'm smart, Kathy says, yeah, I've heard that too, uh, using a hairdryer to loosen tape, even if you've left it too long. Oh, really? Yeah, it's smart. Do we have a hair dryer, dryer here, Hannah? Yeah, I think there's one in there. Okay, why don't we just do that right now? Hello from Spain, Burrito is here. Burrito? That's the best handle I've heard all day. Yeah. I think it's in the one to the left. Oh yeah, maybe here? Eucalyptus oil. Eucalyptus. We tried oil. This didn't really work. Yeah. Um, this is the actual size of the actual Mona Lisa. That is? The actual size of the actual Mona Lisa. Wow. I still don't know what to do with her. Like, what could we do to the Mona Lisa? It's been. Uh, Put a mask on her? And there's some paint on here. And then it was resin, and then it was sanded. And then I want to do something, and then resin it to be done. So, what can I do to this lady? So leave your comments below, please. Okay. Just something cool. I don't know. Like a mask? So here's this. Should I do this or is it too noisy? Uh, yeah, give her one. Let's see if it okay. uh, see if it comes off easier. We just saw it where it was more difficult to come off. So let's see how it goes. Is this good, uh, Kim is recommending pastels. And welcome, I think uh, there's people saying hello, so hello to everybody. Hi, sorry. We were just going through the table of contents, then we got distracted. Um, and As just, I don't want to do this, it's too noisy and boring. Okay. But we'll try it and let you know. Thank you, Victoria. She's complimenting your studio. Thanks, Victoria. Do you like, like this thing over here? Come. And so the studio, we put everything on wheels, too. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> See that even this, it's just Ikea, Ikea stuff on wheels. So we can move it around. Yeah, this is the desk. We just wrapped in wood and put on wheels. Yep. And it's so fantastic. Yes. Okay, so large, we're going to do that. We talked about the back circles. We're going to do uh, monster latex. And then that's, someone was asking about textured paintings. Um, a perfect, there's a couple of ways you can do texture paintings with resin. A uh, perfect is an example, and we'll do one of these today. This is actually, uh, Rebecca did these, and she'd sell them for, I think, $25 at, at art shows. And she can do them really quick. It's wall plaster. And then with the back of a paintbrush, she would, she would do that. And then she'd paint them. Um, and then she sold them like that. But then we resin some, just so that the plaster can come off. And the one way to resin it is like this, where you can see all these bumps, right? And you can just leave it like that, or what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three different options. Um, we're gonna show you resining this one, plaster, just one coat. On this one, we're actually gonna sand down all these high points and then resin it so that a texture painting becomes a flat painting, hmm. but you can still see the textures. And this one, we're just gonna sand a bit to uh, give it some grit, and we're just gonna pour another coat on top of this one. Um, Try and give it with like a smooth top, you mean? Yeah. Hmm. So, textured painting, we're gonna resin that. So there's really three things we're doing today. The large canvas with spray paint. We're mounting, we had questions about lace, resining lace. So we're gonna mount some lace on a big piece of wood and then resin it. Um, I also ordered some other like lace dowlies that we can test to. I have some other ideas, 
but that's something to do, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then texture painting. So let me grab some sandpaper. Hannah, how's the mixing going? Just still having more of our little bottles. <laughs> We're using up all of our returns from shipping um, to mix up a whole bunch of it. Jeff, do you think you can entertain people while I go get some sandpaper? No. Please, Jeff. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to use sandpaper. Is there? Yeah. So, textured paintings. There's the lace that Dave's talking about, doing some uh, lace work with this piece here. So we'll do that, see how that works out. As far as returns, these aren't bad returns, they are merely just returns because probably they got two hardeners or two resins and whatnot. And that is that. So now we're get, Dave's getting up the sandpaper. Yeah. So are we doing the textured first? And then we'll prepare the lace piece. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do here is I just need a block. So this is, just, this is some 60 grit, so it's very, very rough. Um, and I'm going to do this on the ground because it's going to be really messy. All right. Okay, so we're going to do this lemon. Now the problem is with this method, these will probably have to be white dots here. That's yes. Be a little loud. Jean so let's see how that turns out. What do you got? Good. So I think if we resin that, one second. Hopefully, there's no high points that stick out at all. Nice. So let's try the next one too. Sand so we'll show you some sand stuff. Bonsoir Estelle, and someone was mentioning, I think it was Jeannie was mentioning that you look relaxed today. Really? I'm not relaxed. On the inside, I'm just buzzing. And no shoes in the studio, Dave? No. I've built up multiple layers of resin on the bottom of my feet. <laughs> so I'm actually made out of resin. So I came over here to get something. It was this. So this oh. is what sand looks like in resin. If you ever, if people want to do desert scenes. This is just playground sand. It turns it wet looking. We added some color to the sand to try and bring it down to like sun bleached sand and that didn't work. So the next step is to try some colored sand and we'll get that today. Um, I kind of have an idea for this piece. I don't know if Jeff will like it though. Do what you gotta do, you are the artist. Sure? I merely can only film and edit. Okay. This, this was really your kind of Jeff's piece. So here's what we're gonna do. Boom, yeah, because I love it. There's like a little lagoon there. But don't scream when I do this then. Okay, what, are you changing it don't from... Scream. I will scream. Is it going to... Are you totally changing it from uh, even a desert lagoon or oasis? Well, you're just going to have to... Uh, to all right, yeah, because I was just seeing it like, you know, you put something there, like just some sort of oasis there. I do like the different... Yeah, it's like a mirage in the desert, Sandy. That's right. Oh, you're doing... So, you're going to cover right over that blue, aren't you? You're gonna no, 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 no. I'll still be there. Okay. All right. I just want to find like, the exact center point of this. The exact center point. <laughs> All right, and there we go. We're mixing up a nice big batch. Holy cow. Nice. nice. You going to miss this? So much. Yeah. You know what the hell? We need this. We need another you. Like, <laughs> if anyone lives in the Hamilton area. <laughs> yeah. If anyone lives in the Hamilton area, we need a studio hand apprentice. Thank you, Alexis, for saying it to Patricia. Sorry, I missed, might have missed your question, Patricia. Doesn't the big, huge batch, does the big, huge batch get too hot? Yeah, we'll use it quick enough, though. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get it, uh, once it's done mixing here, we're going to pour it out and uh, get right to it. I wouldn't let it sit. So what is going on? So you are doing something. Ah. Uh, there has been a lot of people saying they're going to miss you. What? A lot of people are going to miss Hannah. Aw, miss you guys. 
Uh, LED and resin. Actually, we are playing with LEDs right now off, off camera. So, uh, yeah, we could probably try and play with something there. What is happening here? Is this an eye? Yeah, I'm gonna make an eye or something. But I don't know yet. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it for now a little bit. Oh, oh look at this. Here we go, guys. The reveal of Dave and Rebecca's latest oh, edition. Oh, There's so Summer. Summer. She's so oh my gosh. Look at Covered Summer. Birds, Hi, Summer. Hello, little face. <laughs> and Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello. So cute. Yeah. Donna is a fan. Did you mail Laura a strawberry mold? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on your way. On the way, Laura. I gave it to Tracy a couple days ago. I said, Tracy, please mail this. Oh, Patricia's asking what resin to use for coasters. Um, well, it depends how thick, but you can use our for coasters. Absolutely, yeah. Um, Got to worry about the heat if you're putting a hot, but it does work, absolutely. So, here's my idea. This is lace. It's made, it's made out of the same material as doilies. Shout out to Mama Zach for giving me this. I, we ate off of this. She put a, a cloth, tablecloth, and then, uh, and then put this over top so you see through, like the bright dark red at Christmas, you know? Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, my mom does the same thing. Yeah. But she, she said, you know what? That's not cool anymore. You can destroy it on your live Wednesday uh, YouTube show. Oh, Janine. A couple of people are requesting just to do a uh, resin geode. Yeah, you could do one. We'll just have to follow one of the... There's so many YouTube tutorials on that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I'm gonna make that. If it gets written down, it gets done, right? Resin geode. Boom. Okay. It's on the list. There you go, people. It's a texture painting. So I have steel wool. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that oh yeah. If that's good for buffing just for the next. So I'm not sanding this one. I just wanna give it some grip. Oh I see. So steel wool seems to be. Oh, interesting. Is it doing that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Not nearly as good as sandpaper, but it'll work. So the Oasis Desert is dead? No, 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 no. It's going to be something like... Now it's just staring into my soul. Yeah. I just kind of want to see... Well, we'll find out. Yeah. We'll find out. Okay, so I was Stay tuned on that one. Fold this over and staple gun it in there and then resin it on top of this piece. Oh, okay. Doesn't that sound great? Here we go. Breaking out a new tool, the staple gun. Yeah. I hope this is okay. Mom. What's up, John? Does our product go to France? Yes. Yeah. Um, in France, we have limited sizes, but we're working with all of either. Yeah, absolutely. Email, email support at There you go. Yeah, I can get you some. All right. So, I mean, in a perfect world, I would have ironed this first. But this world is far from perfect. Really? Have you seen this? Things have been going so well lately. You know what? There is some good stuff. There is good stuff. Yeah, let's talk about that. What is some good stuff happening? Hmm. Hmm. You got a puppy. That's good. Okay. Right, Alexis? Puppy, puppy love. Uh, their movie theaters are opening up if people enjoy going yeah. to the movie theaters. The Tenet looks really Tenet good. Tenet looks very good. Tom Cruise went and saw it and said it was good. Really? Yeah, he did. He's still go dude, he's going, he's like going strong. He's got two more Mission Impossibles coming out. He's so wacky. He does have a bit of a um, uh, uniqueness to him in the uh, personal side of things. But I think his movies are 
Excellent. Oh, these are so intense. Look at that. Look at that. You sell this to start an Etsy store. Dude, you could just sell it like that. Wow, you just upped the ante on this one already. 007, Laura, yeah, that's right, 007's coming out. So that's good, people are looking for it. Sports are back, I know there's no audience, but at least they're back. So there's good things. Hannah, give me one good thing oh, man. for 2020. I don't know, I mean, at least school is starting again, but there you go. You know, a lot of things are online. Yeah, but you can still learn and get together with your friends in your closed circles. Exactly. There we go. Good things, people, good things. All right, which, oh, what you got there? I heard that what the government, I was listening to the Onion News this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and they're talking about how the government is, um, is deploying a bunch of buzz kills out into the world to go to people's parties and make them suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great idea. Uh, well, if that's actually in the form of bees, that makes sense because I've got tons in my backyard. Buzz kills as in bees? Buzz? Yes. Buzz? And as Sandy says, which is very true, we have time to create. We have so time to create. That's right. that is one thing that's never. That is a great, great point. There's so many good The only good thing. Look at, this. Look at that. Fantastic. What's wrong? Is this a door big enough for that? Uh, yeah, I think we can get on there. One more. One more turn. Uh, does re Resin does not stick to plastic, which is why it's a perfect base to put your pieces on top of so that you can pull it off without it sticking to it. We should probably pour this soon, eh? Yeah, now that's okay. built. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Can you put on the Mission Impossible song, oh. the, the intense one? Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. There you go. I'm going to stop because then we're going to totally need totally comments right now going like, what is that annoying? This is looking good though, man. Tell your mother to find her uh, table, second layer tablecloth. Can you imagine? <laughs> All right, I'm back. Keep singing? Okay. I don't know. Okay, let's go pour stuff. Let's look at our list. The list never lies. The list never the lies. The list never lies. Um, what can we stand these up on? Maybe. The list never lies. Where are you That's okay. This is another soundtrack of Fallout. Lots of dog food here. Summer, summer treats. I mean, uh, where's the other one of these? Uh oh, can't oh, hear. Life. Can you not hear Dave? I'm hearing. Can't hear Dave. Check, check microphone. Are we okay? Let us know. Let us know, everybody, if you can hear Dave. Look, these are some other ones. Back to like a leaf collection and then a fruit and vegetable collection. Where's the other one? I, this is unsanded. This is scuffed, and then the one that I just sanded. Did I put it? Oh. Oh. There. Aha. Aha. Okay, we're gonna do this over there. Okay. Good idea. Dun 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 Thanks for watching. Put your comments below. This is gonna go so so fast now. Sit down. If you need to go to the washroom, go right now. Because you're not gonna be able to leave. Whoa. Yeah. Or prepare to wet soil yourself. This is like back in the old days where, because now you can just pause your Netflix or your movie, whatever, whereas before, no pause. it's commercials, you had to run out, go to the bathroom, drink commercial, and race back to your couch. Okay, so let's gonna, we're going to pour all of this. Um, why don't we start in the garage? Hannah, can you do it? open all the doors? Here we go. Thank you. Patricia, oh man, that sounds terrible. Just about lockdown. I think she, I think oh, Patricia's no. from Australia. Victoria, is it? Okay, what's going on here? We're in the garage. I'm just pouring this for a base coat. Okay. Can you get some spreaders? Yeah. And we'll spread this out. There you go. And then this is the one we did. This is sand. And this is, what was this one called? Potty training? Potty training. <laughs> Try and just bring it up a notch. 
Okay. Then we'll come and spread this, then we'll come and spray paint this. Okay, are you going to do the... Oh, this, this is wet now. Okay. Oh, here, we're just going at it. Okay, there it is. Wow. Okay. And are we going to water? Okay. Maybe like another half bucket. Okay. Any of these here? Yeah. They're all resin? They're all resin? Yeah. I just opened a new two gallon right there. Okay, I gotta put gloves on. Look, I'm, I put the cotton glove on. I forget. I put the... Oh, that looks very cool. Look at how close they look. Splat. <laughs> it's good to hear Mary Beth. <laughs> yeah. Only dogs like my uh, music. <laughs> her dog, like her poodle, likes my uh, whistling. So I got resin on my on my hands. Oh, so good tip. I use I like this stuff. Yeah. Gojo, and you put it on dry. So I didn't use any water yet, and it's porous. In Canada, you can only get orange scented. Hmm. In uh, in the states, you can get cherry and lemon. What? And orange. Yeah. That's weird. I couldn't believe it. I was thinking of starting a new business. Lemon scented. Industrial hand cleaner. Okay, what am I doing? Gloves. All right. What are we doing first? The uh, garage ones? Yeah, we're gonna go spread stuff. Or that's what hand is doing there. The surface under the lace is a uh, is actually a resined piece. On is it just yeah. is a canvas save or is it a? It's a wooden wood? board, canvas that was purchased, and then there's a background done on it, and uh, then it was. I didn't even sand it. So it, it's, I think it's, uh, I don't know what it is. Wood and paint. Wood and resin, wood paint and resin. Yeah. And then we've got the lace on top and Dave just put and a coat. And it looks very, very cool. I just hope that the wrinkles don't stay there. Yeah, we'll see what this turns out to be. Hmm. Okay, so Hannah's gonna mix up more for us. What are we gonna do without Hannah? I honestly do not know. We have to go back to the, we did last week where Jess filmed and I was behind the fence. <laughs> We'll figure it out. Ah, thanks, Lakeisha. Thanks, Lakeisha. She likes the singing. Well, Dave, can you sing us a song? Um. Why do birds suddenly appear? I don't know the words to it. Every time, Every time you are near. You are near. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, we are in Canada. I think someone just asked a question. We are here in Canada, just outside of Toronto, but an hour away from Toronto West. Yeah, it's in phase three, and our cases seem to be quite low. Sorry to talk about the world. I didn't need more resin on here. And, That's all right. Uh, it unifies people as much as it's as, as much as we're distancing ourselves. It's actually unifying a lot of people too. It's really darkening this lace. Okay. It is, yeah. Yeah, which I don't know it could be good or bad. It's just a very cool texture, anyways. Well, that's the thing. Are we, so are, is your goal to pull it off after? You're just going to no, leave no, it on? No, just leave it as part of the art. Leave it as, okay, cool. I, got, I have some Dow doilies coming, which we'll try other stuff. Okay, thank you, Hannah. John says, after you spread the resin out over the lace, put some alcohol ink on top and rub it around. Okay. Good try that. That's what we'll do. So Hannah's going to make some more resin. Why don't we go to the garage and play with the spray paint? Did we sand the lamp yet? No. Did we do a lamp? The lamp. What um, lamp did we do? We poured two more. It's at, it's at the shed. I'm getting the internet there so I can do updates. But, yeah, it's all coming together. And mm. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, cool. Okay, to the garage. So do, do people say, holy Hannah? Do people say that to you at all? Holy. For what? Have you ever heard that term? Holy <laughs> Hannah? That's just showing my age then. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no one said that. Though. I know. Thing. Isn't it? No? The kids are saying? That's what the kids are saying. No, definitely not. It's probably all the uh, judges and grandpas. That's what they're saying. The pyramid, yes. We did demold the pyramid. Where did yeah. it go? Oh, did we bring it to the uh, shop? Yeah, it's at the shop too. Yeah. Sorry, we keep forgetting to bring it back in. It's actually really ugly. I, mean, I think it's really ugly. Aw. It's some of it's cool, but it's dark. There's but so it, much stuff in it that's so dark. I wonder if we, if we... What we need then is a lathe. And cut right into it, cut off a whole bunch. Yeah. See if we can uh, do something with it, because there's good aspects to it for sure. Yeah, we'll do something with it. So I'm spreading this out. So this is a wooden board, wooden canvas that is built out of extra lumber. And then it was a background in a set 
And what we're going to do is spray paint into this wet resin with some cool different metallic spray paints. So that's one. This one we're going to do some experiments with the spray paints too. Oh. Anything, these might be a piece all on their own or just a background for something else. Nice. It's a fun, just a fun way to get started and make something look really cool. This is cool. Have you actually experimented with spray paint before, besides last no, week? No, no, that was some idea there. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. So we're doing this in the garage because it's gonna the spray paint from this thing so bad as it does. Okay, two. Now this one, this is sand over top of the yellow. So what we're doing here is just continuing to build on this canvas so one day it'll become a piece, a finished piece of art, right? There you go. Eventually. Sometimes it's fun to not have a plan and just make art. Sometimes, and then eventually you get a plan. But you just kind of build all around with materials. I was thinking the other day about how much it sucks to have to be in meetings all the time. Like how many of you are in meetings all the time? And you, and like we're not all meant to be in meetings. We need to be. A, like making stuff, like sanding stuff, moving stuff around, like that's our work. But we're sitting in meetings. So from now on, no more meetings. No more meetings? Well, let's have, let's have a meeting. Yeah, let's that. probably sit down and discuss that in a meeting. Yeah. Maybe a Zoom chat. Zoom. Zoom. Okay. I hope this is fun to watch for you guys, because I say this every week. I know Wednesday's coming, and at least for me, my brain, I say, okay, like, what am I going to do? i got to do something. And then uh, that's, this is really the only time that I seem to have to just, you know. Play around? Yeah, it's, it's, an out, so it's an outlet. So I really appreciate people interacting with me while we do this. So let me ask you, so your style, do you prefer kind of just to go at it, um, or do you actually like... Uh, Pre-planning and having a whole big idea for a painting or anything, or do you like the experimentation? I like both. There's a time for each, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that's all spread out. No, I love if you could plan something and you have a big vision to complete a project, you know? Mm -hmm. But then these ones, like, you know, we're totally just, uh, what's the word that they say? Holy Hannah? Holy. <laughs> we're totally doing a Holy Hannah? Yeah. There it is. Okay. So I'm just going to torch these quick and then we're going to spray paint them. And as I'm sure most of you know, you torch to get rid of the bubbles that are on the surface. Brings it to the nice glass shine. It's best, Janine, actually, when you do use a spreader is to, when you're done using the resin right away, you can wipe them down with a paper towel and uh, an alcohol. Uh, if you do leave it, it, it is harder to peel it off. Okay. So for our spray paint today, we have some metallics. Nice. What's this your... is a metallic silver. This is a pearl mist. This is mirror effect. So I'm gonna see if you can make a mirror. Can Get out. Oh. oh wow. So what maybe I'm trying to Yeah, make this, this like or at least half of it or something. Yeah. Or? Yeah, yeah. Zeke is asking how you make bubbles. Zeke, we have so many that we want to get bubbles. rid of bubbles. If you want to make bubbles, you have it react with something. Uh, so bubbles that are created if there's something that's not completely dry. Mm. So it creates a reaction. Right. Bubbles are created. organic. Yeah, organic stuff. Or you just blow one with a straw, maybe. Okay. The middle, Donna wants the middle to be the mirror. Now, middle and what? The blue one? Yes. Or, or no, maybe, I, I'm not sure. Maybe she meant either the middle of it or the, whatever. This one's so ugly. There's got to be something else to do with that. The potty one? Yeah. I thought you were loving it. You were loving it before. Okay, let's figure it out. Okay, this is going to be a cool background. Anyone, Donna says, just do it up. She's excited. Slide. So, and by the way, guys, I think. Oh! Did I get you? 
Uh, did, I, did you get yourself? No, it's so cold, it's almost like Oh, man. Um, <laughs> so awesome. Okay, so this is pearl white. Hey, and there's a good example. Did that just fly in there? Yeah. And look, and look, it's self-leveling. So there you go, everybody. This is a pearl spray. Look at that. Oh, wait, what's happening here? Okay, he's spraying pearl in there. And sorry if I don't get to everybody's comments or even the compliments. I, I don't always read all those just because they're very nice. And thank you guys so, so much. Um, I try to read what we can, what I can and, uh, and try and answer questions and stuff. All right, so we're just going to see what this does. What you got going on there? I put a whole bunch of pearl at the top, and I'm going to see if it makes like a gradient effect or something. Mm. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Why don't we put some, let's do some mirror on this. I'm very excited. Okay, mirror, here we go. I'm going to do a full coat of mirror spray paint on this. Imagine if it just makes a mirror. I think that's the goal. That would be amazing. Oh, my goodness. Mirror, mirror on the mirrors. resin. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I was born ready. Can we do some music? music? Uh, do you have any fireworks? Uh, <sighs> there's a gong. Boom. Oh, I was looking for that, uh, what's it called when you spin it around? Uh, record player? This thing. A s uh, centrifuge. Oh, yeah, centrifuge. Centrifuge. we got to play with the centrifuge. Donna's giving us a drum roll. Ready? Here it goes. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. Uh, it doesn't look in the mirror yet. Here it comes. Mirror, mirror on the board. Will it work? I hope so. Don't get bored. Just trying to find a rhyme there. Is that going to sink into the resin or stay on the surface? I'm going to leave a little square here like that. No reason. Oh, okay. I get that middle part, yeah. Right, Jeff, hold the camera close and just watch how it's moving around. Look at this, everybody. Look at, whoa. It's, look, it's just like making... Oh, okay, that is... It's like it's alive or something. Oh, yeah. And then it'll just shift and shift. Oof, wow. Okay, that's that's strong. Strong. Oh, wow, that's not true. Dave is the fairest in the land. All right, what should this one be? Wow, there is some cool texture going on here, that's for sure. I don't know if everybody, can you guys get that at home? So, what to make this cool? So this is on wet resin, so it's not cured resin, wet resin. And he's left, so you can see, I'll see if I can show the, the depth. So you can see the kind of gradient that's forming where Dave didn't resin. Kind of cool. Wow. This paint is strong. Ugh. Yeah, let's just get this done. Oh, man. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and working with spray paint. Holy cow. Ooh, you're going to do a nice little kind of sky thing going on here. This is where you should bring out the blow dryer and try and blow, blow around some of that white. Yes, Patricia, you're 100% right. We should be wearing masks. Yeah, we should be wearing masks. We had the garage open. I thought that was good enough, but no, I definitely should be wearing masks. See what the torch does to it. I don't know if I want to torch it now. Do you torch paint? Okay, so there's mm -hmm. that. Does that look neat? That's actually looking quite nice. Kind of like uh, The Simpsons. What else did we do? Silver. Let's see I'll put silver uh, on the bottom here. Silver. Silver. Hmm. Alright, we're going to add silver into this. Hmm. Okay, this is uh Look at that one looks really nice. I know this is dude, this is really look, if everybody's watching this, so this is just wow, this is really turning out nice. The resin Oh, my microphone fell off. Has is that silver metallic Dave someone's asking that you're putting on? That's no the one that you got right now, I think. Yeah, it's metallic silver. And this is just what is that, Dave? Pearl or that is pearl mist spray paint. You pearl mist. Search, you? Yeah, pearl mist. So so, oh, that's the mirror effect, and I think metallic, and that is, right, let's get out of here. 
Okay, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, we're gonna go, but that is looking really cool. The blue is, that's kind of a win right now. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, Dave's doing a little. I'm gonna step out into, just to show the safety that we gotta be more outside or away from the fumes. Look at this, first aid sticker, amazon.com. Boom. Great sticker. There's our little art resin stickers. This is the wrong kind of mask. Hearts. Love. Oh no, this is the right mask. Yeah, get her on. I'll stay back here. So he's putting dark blue on there now. Hopefully you guys can still hear us. I'm not sure if our Wi-Fi or whatnot goes out here. Oh, that's really looking good. That's a nice blue, man, that one. Wow. Can you guys, can you guys all see, kind of make out that color? Like, look at that gradient. That is really good. Okay, so again, wet resin. And uh, there was already a bl the, the faded blue was already on there. Then we put the wet resin on there, and now we've got spray paint. Spray painted white, so it was a pearl white at the top, and now another different color blue. And Dave's got this fading. Oh man, yeah, I don't I wouldn't do anything else. This looks so great. Let's see what happens. This has got a lot of movement. This has got a lot of movement going on here. All right, that's something. And there you go. So we'll come back and visit. This is something that we'll definitely come back next week. And what are we gonna maybe? Uh, maybe I should ask. We should post some pictures and see if people want to recommend some art ideas, or are you just gonna go with it? There you go, there's your torch. Bye, Patricia. All right, that cool. looks so good. That looks Let's awesome. Let's go. Look at that. It's beautiful. That is really cool, man. I actually am really thoroughly cool. impressed I'll with put that some one. birds up in there. Dude, that I'll is really I'll good. on some birds there. Really good. So this is... Gorgeous. Put it coming up your stairs. For that. Really nice. Okay, inside. Woo! We just inhaled so many fumes. Wow. That was really bad. Don't do that at home. Don't do that at home. So there's more resin, is there? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Anna. Oh. So, it doesn't really spread very nice on the So we're just going to pour here. And then we have our three texture painting tests. Test number one is to just pour it right on top and let it just take the shape of the painting. Test number two, we did that, and then we sanded it, you see some white, but it still kind of looks cool. Then pour it over, and then hopefully, you'll have a perfect, you won't have any texture. And then number three is just buff, but don't sand um, to, give, to give the second coat some grit, and then just make it a smoother coat than two coats, so. Um, and can we just grab some spreaders and just, or even gloved hands, and we'll just finish that. What else? This is going great. I feel like this has been a productive, calm, organized YouTube video. Anyone else feel the same way? We'll put a pull up. Boing! Boing. Um, Texture answer. I, yeah. Uh, Season of the Witch is getting killed because you're just dumping it on there. Who's Season of the Witch? I don't know. She's been here many times. Who is she? She, he. Sorry. But uh, it is, that is Dave's style. Well, we just go. We just go at it and. Okay, look at this. Yes. Still will be. Go like that. Gloved hands and I'm going to do all the edges too. Looks really good actually. The color came out more. Oh yeah. I mean, resin does make it saturate a bit. Yeah. So you could sell this for maybe 35 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. I had a little art show and it's a, uh, people like going to art shows and taking something. So you have your big expensive pieces, but you have your affordable little suckers, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you go to an art show, you pay 25 bucks, you leave with a piece, you put it in your kitchen, tell all your friends, you know? There you go. Okay. All right. Hey, why don't we also try and do the edge of it? So, that... so are you going to try and color that piece at all or leave it? Oh, yeah, we're Yeah, that's was a recommendation. Maybe not everywhere. Maybe areas or a certain area. Be cool to see some different effects if we can. 
How's it feel? The texture. What do you think, Hannah? Feels kind of satisfying. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, welcome CEO and wife from CEO. Season of the Witch. There's CEO and his wife is the assistant. Oh, really? Nice. What do you mean? I don't know. But, well, we were asking who Season of the Witch is. Season of the Witch. Season of Witch Entertainment, was that what it was? And she's the wife of the Season of the Witch? I don't know. Is it the Season of the Witch? Is it? I don't know. Right, it's the Season of the Puppy for me. Season of the Dog. Season of the Dog? Yeah. What are the animals on the Chinese calendar? Isn't that like year of the whatever? Is there a dragon on there? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Season of the Witch. Who is Season of the Witch? I don't know. Who but are you? Who are you? Show yourself. Reveal yourself. Yes. Hannah wants to know. Hi there. Tell us. Who are you? Send us your age, sex, and location. Remember that from back in the day? ASL? No, what's that? The kids still do that? What? Do what? You're on, uh, on Skype, um, I, ICQ Messenger, and you meet someone new and you send them ASL, question mark, I mean, age, sex, location. No way. Yeah. I did not, this is, sorry, this was when, this was in the 90s, I guess. The 90s, also oh, like when first you were getting like uh, yeah, messaging or texting? First time you ever on the internet. Oh, wow. You're like, holy crap. You know, I had to pay, mom, I had to pay for the internet. Or at least half of it or something. You know that? I didn't believe it. They're like, oh, the internet. Yeah. The internet. <laughs> that won't last, that crazy thing. Oh. Let me just go back to my Encyclopedia Britannica here. Yeah. No. Um, okay, so we're going to put some, someone has to be some in here. Let's try it. Uh, what color would look nice in that? Uh, Dave's mic is not good, sorry. Check, check, one, two. Maybe if it was, it was hanging off you, maybe when you were... It's so, anyway. it's so hot in here, air conditioning broke. Oh yeah, when is that gonna get fit? This has been like weeks now. I know. Is we're it, waiting on some part. Is it in warranty? I don't know if it's in warranty. That guy just needs an air conditioning fit. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll check if it's in warranty. Get some colors of the so rainbow. What colors do you want to do? Uh, well, let's see, well, you can do anything. I mean, you got a very muted background, so you can go anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. What freedom? What possibilities? Neon. Hannah, pick a color. Ooh, I don't know. I think they've got some. Hands. Boom. But I don't know what I'm doing with them. <laughs> I'm going to do some cyan. There's already a nice base blue here. Magenta. Magenta? We got magenta. Oh, we're doing it like that. Whoa. We're just going to straighten the resin, then we'll kind of mix it and play with it. And then we're going to. Oh, do we ever, Dale? Do we ever? Got to organize that drawer. We need to organize the drawers, yeah. So it's completely empty. Oh, zero for two. Wow. There we go. Oh, there oh, it is. Yeah. So that is blue and magenta, I think. Is that magenta? Or pink, neon pink. Neon pink. Yeah, starting to separate, starting to get some uh, oh, days tilting it. We're doing tilt. Hang on. And, oh, it's sliding. It's, wow, it like slid as like a full bar. But yeah, we're getting some separation, some, uh, what should we call it? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's called a, a happy accident. A beautiful oops. Did I get you, Jeff? Uh, it doesn't matter. So, I don't know why we're doing this, but someone said put... Hey, Brookie. Some, put some uh, alcohol ink on top of it after we put lace on it. So that's what we went and did. Yeah, there it is. Great. Some metallic. I can hear that. The dripping resin. <laughs> Looks like a... 
EKG, is that what they call it? Yeah. Coronavirus what? Chart. Chart? This is actually, I'm liking what you're doing right now. So yeah, so everything is now kind of sliding down. Dude, this is actually kind of cool. All right, we're going to prop it up. Dave's going to let it slide down a bit more, see what happens. Okay, what else do we need to do? Anything? We have all that red in the silver. Hmm. Can you draw? Can I draw? Yeah. Yeah, I love drawing. Why don't you do something on one of these, like do one of your uh, marker pens or something, or marker on one of these backgrounds. That'd be amazing. Okay, can I wash my hands? Yes, of course. So is this a converted house? No, it, it is a, uh, what are these places called? Um, this is it's a commercial, it's Com a split thing. So it's yeah. commercial, considered commercial, and upstairs it's considered residential. Yeah. But we use it all for commercial. Don't tell the royal officer. Uh, awkward. <laughs> Just kidding. I love the colorful one on the ground. Yes, which one's that? Oh, this one. Yeah, I know. We actually have, <laughs> we actually have a buyer already. Someone has already supposedly claimed that whatever it is, they're going to buy it whenever we're ready. But uh, this has just been, this is probably, what, Hannah, six weeks in the making now? Seven? Six? Did we start it before you got here? Yeah. No way. It's been a long time. Okay, then this is like eight weeks to ten weeks in the making. Wow. Okay, what else do we got to do? You got all that resin to we got, oh, we got. Oh, we got to resin something, too. Okay. Uh, what about any molds? Do we have any molds? Yeah. Mm. Oh, did you get some new ones? Oh, where'd you get those? On Amazon. Oh, no way. Yeah. Those are huge. Those are great. Yeah. Nice. Those are they good for casting resins? I mean, you have to say, like, that's pretty wow. funny. Wow. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Is that funny? Uh, hilarious. How much do y'all mix at a time, resin wise? Oh, we mix however much is needed, I guess. You say, hey, I mixed something. And then she's like, I don't know what to mix. You never know what you're playing in. A gingerbread house mold. Sure. Or a gingerbread house made of resin. We have that right here. We have a gingerbread house, don't we? Get out. Do we? Hannah? I have not seen one. Yeah, we have a whole gingerbread house mold. Probably in the basement in our. Once again, we need to go through these drawers. We should not be showing people. We, just, uh, we blame you, Hannah. Yeah, it's probably my fault. Every day. <laughs> um, I have all this resin left, though. Are we done? Uh, well, we can do the resin afterwards. Do you want to? Yeah, wow. Okay, look at this. is working out, everybody. This is kind of cool. Yeah. It's almost like a cityscape. And then it's like a water... Ref Dude, there is something really good here. Yeah? Why don't we pour more resin on it? No, don't pour more resin on Why it. Why not? Because... I got after it now, Jeff. No, Dave. Yeah. There's something good happening here, and you're gonna just pour resin on it. Yeah. Oh, this is this this is my nightmare, I'm literally. Pour it right on top of everything. Oh. See this? Just to make Jeff feel the pain. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate. I feel the love. I really do. All right. Well, goodbye, cityscape. Goodbye, cityscape. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you. Uh, learned something. Thanks for all your tips and suggestions in the comments. Thank you, Hannah, for joining us and being a great assistant. Thanks for having me. You'll be missed. Um, and I hope everyone's doing well. And next Wednesday at 1 o'clock, we'll do more stuff like this. So take care of yourself. Talk to you later.